Canes taking on the Kansas Jayhawks. And the thing you love about collegiate sports, the passion, the energy, I mean, the competitiveness and that hunger and drive to succeed and, and show what you have, it's really always a marvel to watch. No doubt about it, Greg. And seeing these players out here tonight, I remember how the love for the game of basketball in those formative years when I was playing college was so invaluable. I mean, the experience you gain with excellent coaching and mentorship at this level, really a huge part of where you go with your talent. On the court for Michigan, Ellis is out there with Smith. Then it's Jones, and there's Flash, and it's Crawford at the two guard. Now here's Terry. And Ellis with the block. And that will be Kansas's ball as it goes out of bounds. The Jayhawks able to keep the ball here. Now here's Oubre, defended by Jones. Now here's Oubre, the pass to Valentine. Lock it two, and Jones pulls it down. Boy, some really big names have come out of the Kansas Jayhawks program into the NBA. A pair of first overall picks in their history. Believe it or not, Wilt Chamberlain wasn't one of them. Here's Flash at the elbow of Ellis. Accurate with a jumper from the elbow. Could be the first of a lot of mid-range jumpers that we see from him. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. they got to get going. That is good. Oh, great. You know, so often we can forget that these players are student-athletes. I mean, Freak does not have that problem. He's an amazing student off the floor and is very dedicated in the classroom. And how about Freak with a 4.0 GPA, an honor student in high school, and has carried that same work Go ethic to college as well as he prepares for his games. He truly embodies what it means to be a student athlete. Right side, Tim. Shoots a fader. And it's Terry again missing. Kansas on D, trailing by five. Outside, Jones. Here's the screen. Here's Ellis. No luck. And Kansas the other way now. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted. And really, I, I've enjoyed, I like the movement and communication there. Games gets the bucket. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hand. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Some changes for Kansas. Edmonds checked in, and it's Duncan in for Oubre. Michigan making some changes. The Wolverines leading by three. And Stevenson kicks to Cunningham. There's the screen. Terrific design on the pick one, and he lays it in. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. And you look at the long list of former players from the University of Michigan, a lot of big-name NBA players got their start as Wolverines. It's been that way for a long time. On the court for Michigan, Cunningham is out there with Jefferson, and it's Knight in at the shooting guard position. Slammed in by Taylor. I'll tell you what, they're going to have to do a better job of boxing this fella out than that. No one between him and the hoop. You're right, Clark. Yeah, and you don't want to be giving up, guys. Put back slams. That's not the kind of play that could build confidence. And with Freak, he takes a lot of pride in where he hails from. Didn't grow up with a silver spoon in his hand by any means, and his family cheers him on from home. And Greg, you can see it in this game. I mean, we're all a product of where we've been, our environment, our experiences. And with Freak, he doesn't take anything for granted. Some of the very best players of all time have come from the projects like Freak. And he takes pride in playing for Harlem when he's on the court. Knight with it. Guarded now by Duncan. They set the pick. Outside Jefferson. Shot high post. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. 
Greg, you mentioned moments ago all the former Wolverines that have made it to the NBA. Michigan has been one of the best talent developing schools for a long time. And you know, apart from the Fab Five group, Kevin, the Wolverines. And the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going on here. It's the Wolverines. Hello and welcome back. This is College Basketball on 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning in, this is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg as we get set for the second half. Guys, yeah, we had a tight game through the first half. I think we'll see more of the same coming out of the break. And it's just going to take one big run for one of these teams to establish control. If we can get hot, this team has a great chance of coming away with the victory. Valentine in a shooting guard, and it's Gaines in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Wolverines, we've got Flash. Smith is out there with Ellis. Then it's Jones, and it's Crawford at the two spot. And, and Kansas always seems to be in total contention. I mean, the program does a great job of finding tough players and having a system that fits them best. Really, are they not a title contender? And for Kansas, Valentine in a two guard, and it's Oubre in at the small forward position. And, and you see Freak out there. Nobody is 100% sure what position he'll be best at on the next level, but they know he'll be out on the wing. He, he looks so comfortable in space. And with Freak, it's this plethora of moves that really impress me. He can create a shot in space anywhere and anytime. He's got a really good sense of how to operate from the wing. And the Jayhawks do a great job in recruiting talent. All sorts of players have come through Kansas and found success. Yeah, and you know they develop not only the stars like Paul Pierce and Andrew Wiggins, but role players too, guys that have made a living in the NBA as fitting into roles. Mario Chalmers and Nick Collison coming by. Bossy's checked in for the Jayhawks. Duncan comes in for Oubre. Now here's Freak. He's guarded closely. Pass to Gaines. Duncan against Knight. Duncan dishes to Freak. The three. And that one's good. Freak's got nine. You know what, guys? He can really light it up from the perimeter at times. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Lee with the steal. And here we go. The Jayhawks with a fast break. Lee's running, and that one's good. And it's a six-point Jayhawk lead. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Jones gets to Smith. Right on the wing. Here's Flash. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. It's Jones on the wing. Drills it from outside. There is no way. No way a player like him can be left wide open like that. Did you pay attention to the scouting report? One on nine left here in the second half of the game. On the court for Michigan. Cunningham is out there with Wright. And it's Smith. And there's Flash. And it's Knight in the shooting guard. And he is the ultimate. It's this simple, guys. No rebounds. No rings. We need to dominate the glass. Biggs, get the ball off the rim and get it out to our guards so we can get out and transition. Why you thought he had a little great hand? I thought you were talking about the knees. He looked a little hollow out there for a moment.
Michigan trails by nine. Inside, here's Smith. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Jayhawks. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. Good from Smith. 58 seconds left to play in the second half. Stevenson against Williams. And Jenkins kicks the free. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And you see a lot of players who are very talented play with a me first approach that is not the case with free he doesn't try and attract any unnecessary attention and just focuses on playing his game yeah i like that about him greg i mean in a day and age where most guys are self-centered and it's all about me it's refreshing for a right, player now, like free two shots. who doesn't invite that kind of noise i mean that's as impressive as a skill set the first one and that stretches their lead to eight it's been a good night for free 10 points and a block it's been a really complete performance for him today and Clark he's made a huge impact at both ends of the floor and so he drops them both it's a nine point ball game here no mistakes there I think you can close the book on this one guys it's done so Michigan ends up going with the new group. Stevenson against Williams. Seven foot shot. And once again off the mark by Michigan. And the Jayhawks with possession. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Freak with it. Jefferson is right there. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. First one drops, and that'll push the lead to double digits. And both free throws good from Freak. There's 18 seconds left to play in the second half. Stevenson drives in. Right side, Taylor. And the shot falls short this time. Here's Valentine. No what? Jefferson. Off line. And so the Jayhawks take the win. Some good competition with the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, Clark, made the difference. Well, you know, at this stage, you've got to defend your home floor, and they did that. For Craig Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching.